Bag fuel, baby. So, uh, the nasty work of the music business. Yeah, what about it? You know, I've been having conversations with people, and they're very frustrated with the policies, the tactics, and the behavior of the music industry. But why do they keep talking? Yo, everybody keeps talking about this for 30 years. I, I don't I, understand. I'm just like, hey, <laughs> you have to understand, these are guys who are set in their ways. It's hard to convince them of what's going on, what's the direction of the culture, what's the shift of the culture. Okay. I'm just like, hey, let's just gradually build up the relationship, build up the network. But people are just so stuck in the, it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to go like this. And I'm like, why? Circumvent it. Go they around don't, it. No, that's, not, that, that's not easy. Let me jump in. What's not easy? You have to be able to know how to circumvent. People don't even know that fucking word. Okay, they don't even know what it means to circumvent nothing. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's the clip right there. Right. So so you so so you're giving them stuff and, and you're telling them wise words, but you're telling them words that they don't understand. Okay, circumvent means if you can't if you can't get in this business this way, use your talent and your skills and your relationships and try to come into uh, around it and come in another way. Meaning, if you want to rap but you take good pictures, be a freaking photographer. There you go. Take pictures of every of every person that you can, build relationships in there, be in the studio, and wait for the fine time to introduce your music to them. That's how you circumvent talent. You can be a, a rapper, right, because nobody cares a, about your freaking business sense. You get a deal. You never come out. But a while you're there, you're building a whole lot of like relationships. What, like what Kanye did. But, a, but, but Kanye came out. Kanye came out. There are people who have never come out that go on to be managers. The Huddy that died. Yes. Remember, Hug he six. was involved. He was involved with um Dipset. Um, no, no, Not no. Dipset, with but... Nelly. <laughs> with really? Nelly, yes. They was involved with Nelly. Nelly came through Uptown. Dude, shout out to Ed Holmes. Mm. The, the Huddy was involved. See, people be involved. Yeah, he he had a little look with Mace. But what did people do? Everybody loved Huddy Combs. They liked him to this day. So he circumvented. What did Jim Jones do? Jim Jones wasn't a rapper. He was a a, a video director. He wasn't too. even a video director. Jim Jones was his man. You mm. follow what I'm saying? Jim Jones was like, I'm not just going to be a nigga man. I'm right here. Mm. I can circumvent all of this shit. I'm going to be, I'm going to shoot videos. Mm. Jim Jones was in Rockefeller office with a mic and an inbox recording and people was laughing at him. Wow. Okay. People was laughing at him. He was Woo. not a rapper. But what did he do? He circumvented his rap career. He parlayed it. He used relationships. He saw the swag. He saw how, how people worked the, the, the business. And he took that and made that his own. Mm -hmm. And that's how y'all got Jim Jones. Yes. That, that's why Jewels and all them was in front of Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. If you think about Dipset, yeah, Cam yeah. fucked with Jewels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was the next rapper because real talk, Jewels was rapping. Jim Jones learned the business. He worked on his writing. He found Max B. Put Max B in. in stack, write that shit. Stack bundles. I'm going to spit that shit. And I'm out now. And nobody could stop that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then he went back. He looked like he fell off a little bit. Now this is the fucking renaissance of so Jim, Jim Jones. Jones. Why? Because he knows the business. He got more connections than he ever had right now. You know, and, and he's been transparent. He sat there and said, yo, I was down to my last band. And I asked Bet it. Mortgage was the dude. But yeah. I'm going to come back and get it. He, I, he, he's the he, only nigga I know is running around with gray hair right now, and, and nobody freaking cares. Cares. No one says he's shit. Still, he's still lit. He's more lit now than he's ever been. That's funny. He has all the grace popping. Nobody calls him an old nigga. Nobody. Nobody calls him OG. G nobody nothing. calls him an OG. <laughs> nothing. He just Think about Jones. that. That's an ill he's nigga. A, yo, <laughs> that's a nigga who paid attention and knew if you keep working. That's the key to this yeah. whole shit. Yeah. You keep working. If you keep working, you keep working, you're going to find your lane. Everybody that's, that's lit right now, we lit right now, straight up. All we do is freaking work. We just talk to Mandy. Mandy's like, all, 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 all you doing is working. Yeah. yeah. If I'm not working, I'm a herb. Mm -hmm. If I'm not working, I'm filming in my house on my phone camera and posting that shit up. Mm -hmm. Facts. And then, you know, you got people that got to hold you accountable and motivate you. This nigga be calling me like, you ain't doing enough, nigga. 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, this video just did 90,000. He's don't... like, and? So what? He said, let me show you what that 90,000 means. Let's go to Chow's right now and cover the bill. If that, if that can't and cover I said, that I, bill, if that I, can't cover that bill, that shit what? don't mean nothing. So guess what that 90,000 views meant? Nothing. Nothing. We need, you, you need money. You money. have to circumvent that 90,000 views and turn and find a way to turn those 90,000 views into money. Mm -hmm. So you know what you do? You sell merch. One, you sell subscriptions. Two, you sell online courses. Three, you do public appearances and live shows. Mm -hmm. And that's just to start off. Minimum. That is just the beginning of what we do. Come up with a product. Uh -huh. Sell your product. I got laces. I, I, I just sold laces right before we turned this joint on. I sold five pairs for $10 a piece. Boom. All of that adds on to what, what you got going on. Mm -hmm. those, those laces can now pay for studio time for 30 minutes. I sell 10 more laces. I got studio time for an hour and 30 minutes. Now I'm not paying for nothing, and I'm turning this into money, money. when it goes on YouTube, YouTube and you subscribe.